Hey guys, guides. What is it? What are they? Who are they? And does everybody have a guide? Is it the same as a garden? In, garden? I can't talk. Is it the same as a guardian angel? Let's talk about it. Yesterday in my Q&A, this was one of the questions that, that came up. So I thought this would, let's just do a TikTok about guides or maybe more than one TikTok about guides. So there are two thoughts about guides. Some people believe that guides are people that once roamed earth, that they had a life here and they sign up to be your guide, your guardian, to just basically guide you on this journey that we call life. The other thought is that it's just a, uh, an extension of your higher self. Truth is, it may be a little of both. I'm, my, I tend to side with a, a guide as somebody that walked this earth plane at one time and they sign up to be your guide. I know that we have guides, we have inspires, and we have helpers. Our loved ones that pass before us can very much be a helper or an inspirer in our life. I don't believe that they are our guides. I believe that your guide is somebody who has been in the spirit world for a long time, hundreds of years, maybe. I know personally my two main guides that I have. One was here last in the 1700s and the other one was here in the early 1800s. That was their last life on earth. So they've been in the spirit world for an awfully long time. I believe that our guides, once they reach the spirit world, we all have to make a choice of, are we coming back to earth for another go? Or are we going to stay and we're going to learn and evolve as a spiritual being, a spiritual being? Are we going to do that? And guides are the people that say, hey, I want to, I want to stay here. I want to learn. I want to evolve. I want to become a higher being. And then they decide to become a guide and they go through a lot in order to prepare to sign up to be somebody's guide. That's my belief. But yes, I know for a fact that my parents, grandparents in the spirit world are very much inspirers and helpers with me, especially in the teaching realm, because I work with so many students learning about mediumship. I'm always needing somebody to come through in the spirit world. And they're willing and, and ready. They've signed up to be a helper for me in that way. I know that my mother was very much an inspirer when I was writing my book. So they certainly can play that role. And it almost feels like they are a guide. But my belief is your guide has been in the spirit world for a long, long, long time. So I'm going to do another video. I'm going to continue continue this about the roles of guides and what they can do. So there'll be another part.